I'm Ajanta from Innersight Counseling Center. Today we're going to discuss how important is it to discuss finances for a couple who are going to get married or already married. I think finances for some reason has been a very delicate issue between couples. Most people think it will sort itself out, we'll discuss it later, it's not something so important. Yet it does uh, turn out sometimes to be a standoff point between couples. Uh, I think it's important. Uh, because uh, finance is a very big part of one's life and a lot of people who are working, uh, you know, money is very important. It means different things for different people and it's important to discuss it so that there are no uh, issues at a later point or it comes doesn't come to a, a situation where people feel that or, or a couple feels that, you know, this is something which is a no-go topic. I cannot discuss this with my spouse. So I think it's important to discuss finances. I think first uh, it's important for uh, individuals uh, who are in a relationship or in a marriage to uh, acknowledge to themselves what really are their financial goals, what do they really want. Uh, you know, maybe a fancy car, maybe a bigger house, maybe a trip abroad. What do they really want? Or to save up for a rainy day. Everyone has different aspirations. I think once you have a, a, a hold on what really are your aspirations, discuss them with, with your partner and then possibly find a way which will be acceptable to both. So it's important to do that. I think it's also if there is something which is, uh, you know, sometimes people don't speak up in uh, relationships for fear that it will cause uh, resentment in the other person or for fear that there will be a backlash. For instance, if someone is buying a house and if both of you are chipping in, rightfully you would want the house to be in both your names. What happens if your spouse decides that it's just going to be in his or her name? and uh, you don't feel too great about it, but you don't want to speak about it. So I think these are things to think about. Uh, you may think at that point that it's not important. You don't know, uh, no relationship comes with guarantees and you don't know how the relationship will uh, unfold at a later point. So it's important to discuss all of these, even though they may seem like difficult conversations to have. I think uh, first, just acceptance. Uh, of yourself and then of others. I think uh, we've become, uh, a lot of us tend to uh, sort of feel that the way we look at things is the only way to look at things. I think just open up your minds. It's fine, you may have been brought up in a place or in a setup, your family, um, your childhood messages may be such that it's important to save and you've grown up with that philosophy. There is merit in that. There may be someone else who's been brought up in a setup where he, he or she believes that you, you know, you live today and you live it to the fullest and uh, tomorrow will work itself out. And, uh, you know, so I think to find a midway between the two approaches, it's okay if, you know, your uh, aspirations don't match your partners. There still is a midway if uh, you are open enough for a discussion. So I think that's the way to go. Just open up your mind and discuss. So how open uh, should you be with your partner uh, related to your finances? I think it, uh, the answer is somewhere in how safe do you feel in the relationship? Uh, a lot of times and the uh, safety in the relationship need not be just necessarily about how the partner makes you feel but what's happened for you as a person even before you entered the relationship. So I think um, I would say that if uh, you know if you're feeling uh, a little uh, anxious about whether I should reveal everything ask yourself where your anxiety is stemming from and uh, I don't think there is a, a one way to be, uh, you know, that you must reveal everything or you must withhold everything. I think just see how the relationship progresses, how uh, safe and comfortable you're feeling in it. And I don't think it's about holding or revealing. I think it's just sharing your life. So if it's an important part of your life and you want to discuss it, I think go ahead. Uh, yes, definitely safeguard yourself as far as finances are concerned. I think uh, there is something as too trusting in today's day and age. So I think just keep that in mind. That's it for finances today. If you'd like to know more about issues that impact couples, do tune in to MDIL or subscribe to the channel.